It's got multiplayer. Demo is out. Man. Remember they did have that private demo from File Planet for quite some time. Um, they did. They brought it out now. Uh-oh. We, uh, we have a new victim here. We have a new victim. We do. Bring him on. New victim, what's up? What's up, jobbers? Who's this? This is Do Sex. How you doing? Do Sex, yo. <laughs> I, I, you hey, know what? I'm not on? wearing the cans anymore, so I can't. I I can't identify caller voices as well as I used to be able to. <laughs> What's going on, man? No, nothing much. I just wanted to tell y'all a little bit about what I was playing. I've been playing a shit ton of the Orange Box, and yeah, yeah. Bit, but right good. on, dude. <laughs> A little tiny bit, but not very much of Halo 3, but mostly Orange Box. On, on PC or Good on 360? Man. 360. I'm not playing much of the PC stuff anymore, if you can believe yeah. that. There's actually you like your a couch thread. more, don't you? There's actually a really good thread on Epileptic Gaming Forums right now of people talking about how the PC is sort of phasing out of their of their gameplay. Uh, it, it's a really interesting read. I think Boba actually started it, but anyway. Yeah, I, he did. I just commented on it myself, where I was saying, you know, a lot of my PC gaming is phasing out to the consoles as well, too. So anyway, yeah. it's on our forums. But It's amazing that I've got about two dozen games game sitting here and they're all in boxes <laughs> <laughs> i i hear you dude i'm i'm a little behind myself uh you know i've got i've got a few i've got a, and the scary thing to me is that i've got a couple rpgs that i haven't opened and you know that those are a fucking huge time sink automatically like i know i'm opening yeah. up at least 40 hours from this box and it's i'm scared to even open them but uh I am surprised y'all didn't go into the details about uh, EA Chicago closing down either because of that uh, asshole, what's his face, uh, e Shinoda. Yeah, um, there is an article up on it on wire.ggl.com, and I had it originally in the script, but I just wanted to make sure we had enough time for uh, callers, so that's why we didn't, uh, we didn't really touch on it too much. But I know it's also being discussed in the forums, and then uh, wire.ggl.com has an article on it. And it's surprising, but at the same time, it's not. You know, I mean, it's it's really we're, we won't know how this is going to affect EA for another three months. You know, is this standard? Are they just sort of like consolidating some of their studios? Who who knows? You know, and I know yeah. there's been some speculation and this and that, but um, you know, is it really going to affect uh, EA? I don't know. I did read this morning though, and you guys remember because it was Suma who is saying bullshit, but Activision's up again this quarter and higher than they were before. Dude, yeah. it, well, it's Guitar Hero 3, isn't it? Well, that yeah. probably has something to do with it, but remember that we, that Suma was saying in a few months that EA was going to be right back on top, and uh, according to the reports I've seen, Activision is still going up, so... You know, let's see what happens yeah. with Rock uh, Band. COD 4. Okay, I got two fighting, games. COD 4, uh, Guitar Hero 3. Something. Yeah, right that's there. It. That, that's it. That'll crush that's EA huge. for the uh, quarter. Fight Night got moved up to the uh, Vancouver studios in yeah. EA. That was on, uh, I think it was on either Joystick or Kotaku or either or both. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but yeah, awesome that you're playing the Orange Box. I know that... Uh, I know that Rance is playing uh, a lot of the Orange Box as well. On that's right, baby. And, I've been playing uh, on my PC. Nice. So. Oddly enough. Kick ass. So. Yeah. All right, Deuce X, thank you very much for your call. And to fire up the drivers. video even. I like that. See, look, yeah. look what happens when you fire up the video. Rants can do all sorts of fucking cool shit with it now. Thanks, Deuce X. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, let's take our next call. We've got about 15 minutes left in the show today. Didn't quite get as much time in on open phones as I would have liked to, but uh, you could call us on the phone number that you will see down here eventually. And then also... I got, uh, a, I got a running on sticker right now, you guys. So. Oh, there you go. That's in, in you stream as well. Next victim, Buck. I wanted to... Cool. Uh, what's Hello. Up? Hey, I wanted to know your opinion on something. Drop I heard it. the uh, WoW movie is going to have the special effects team that had... That that did movies. I want to know what you think. Like, Which did, movies? Did, 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 you mean Weta? Isn't Weta doing it? The 300 no, movies. I heard, oh. No, the LOTR movies. I heard the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, Weta. Yeah, Weta. Weta. Okay, yeah, yeah, that is right? WTA, Weta. Um, well, you know, I think we talked about this on the show uh, last season where they announced that they weren't going to use CG for the... Like, we were under the impression that maybe the movie was going to be full CG. But they're not, right? Like, I understood that they were going yeah. to... You know, maybe a, a Torin would be CG or an orc or something. Um, but yeah. for the most part, it was going to be live action with it. I mean, honestly, if anyone could do it, I'm glad that at least th it, they, it was put into their hands. Because I got to be honest with you, caller, I don't want to continuously see shitty video game movies. Movies. I would actually fucking love it if one of these goddamn movies was actually worth the fucking 10 bucks that it would cost me to go to the theater and see it. So, you know, I mean, 
these guys, I don't think that these guys can fuck up. And I don't know if you know this, but Weta also did Heavenly Sword. Ooh. Um, and and uh, that you looks know, like that, a movie. Right. That game looks like a movie. It's like it seems like a good equation mm -hmm. for success. What do you think? I think that's I think I agree with you the most, man. If they can do Heavenly Sword, we can we, I bet they can do WoW. Oh, I, I think mean, they, I, they can do WoW. I mean I played Heavenly Sword like two hour for like two hours straight and I've just fell in love with it. Alright, man, thanks. Alright, man. Cool. Yeah, I look forward to the WoW movie. I look forward to any video game movie that won't suck balls. Yeah, me too, man. Peace. Peace. Um, <laughs> the last, uh, the last video game movie that I can remember coming out is the Resident Evil uh, Extinction. Is that what it was? Uh, the one in Vegas. The it was like so fucking far away from like what Resident Evil actually was. Uh, it started in first movie and continued to go downhill like that. We got our next caller. I think I know this guy. I think I can. I think that Might. I can see who it is. Yeah, I, I see. That. That's <laughs> Nietzsche, isn't it? Uh, it is. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's uh, going on? I, anyway, dude, I wanted to weigh in on the whole Nintendo thing and the PS3, Xbox deal. Man, I'm waving the white flag of surrender. I'm going to get excommunicated from the church of Nintendo, man. Uh -oh. Because, uh, honest, honestly, man, they've turned the Wii into, like, a handheld, man. It's like... It's all mini games, and that's the way they've advertised it. That's the way they've promoted it, and that's the way it's being perceived in Japan. It's it's obvious. Right. You know, Galaxies. I I've, I've played it, and it's not it's not great. Uh, you know, it's all right. So I a lot they could do something well, with it, but I, I got it. A lot of people are giving it ten out of tens. Is it just because Dude, it's, it's a new Mario game? I mean, is it because yeah, Bioshock got ten? So it, now it's it, okay to give anything a ten? I don't. Dude, it's creative for Mario. But it's still Mario. It's you know, and and I I can't I can't justify giving any Mario game a ten when they when it, when as you said it's the same thing over and over again. I was hoping that it would, that it would be really crazy innovative, but it's right. Not, it's you know, it's disappointing. Right. But, well, I, but at the same time, on the other end of the spectrum, the PS3, I want to play. I have judgment. I you know I just built a new PC, and the moment I have the money to buy a new uh, anything else, it's going to be a PS3 right. instantly. Good. The only thing that I'm concerned uh, in the in PS3 360 war is uh, you know the online. It's the online community. The well, Xbox Live is so well in. I'm glad you brought it up, Nietzsche. Actually, because it's something that we don't you know when we often have our whole like 360 versus PS3 debate. One of the things that we often leave out is the online capabilities and there's no doubt that Xbox Live is fucking G but there is something that as a gamer uh, you know I, I can't ignore okay and, and let me just put this scenario out there for you I'm buying Call of Duty 4 for the PS3 and here's why I've played Call of Duty 1 or 2 and 3 on the 360 it was good it was good but I, I, I could definitely say that there were games where I had lag problems and stuff like that on the on the on the PS3 Everything that I've played multiplayer, with the exception of Eye of Judgment, because it doesn't really need it, has been server side, okay? Dedicated fucking servers that I know aren't gonna lag, that aren't gonna like be some guy's fucking listen server and he's gonna leave, you know, in the middle of the game and, and just ruin the game. I know that when I purchase Call of Duty 4, that I'm not playing on a peered system on the 360. On the PS3, I'm getting a dedicated Call of Duty 4 server to play on and coming from a PC world that's a big fucking deal to me because it means that I'm going to get the best play experience that I've got so while I agree that that, that, that are, are Sony that? is behind are you positive that that it's all dedicated servers I've not played a game on PS3 that was multiplayer with the exception of I of judgment that hasn't had dedicated servers the only game that I've played on the 360 with dedicated servers thus far has been Battlefield 2 Modern Combat I'm sure there's other games. I haven't played every single one of them, but or, or, that's a that's I'm like a pretty sure War not dedicated. What's that? Asm. What game? Warhawk. Warhawk. Warhawk is absolutely fucking dedicated servers. I can go into I can turn my PS3 on and make my PlayStation a dedicated server. Oh no no you can make them but I but I'm saying it's not like that every it's not like Xbox where almost everything is a dedicated server because they're all provided by Microsoft. No no they're 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 not when when I was playing so for example TF2 does not have dedicated servers on peer -to -peer, 360. Brother. It's peer to peer. 
Do you want to really play a game like really? the Orange Box that is going to be, Imagine you know, the connection that can barely handle well, have, your Skype video boxes. feed serving for eight guys in TF2, bro. That's, that's, that's exactly what we're seeing. Right. So, you know, while there have been some yeah. publishers like EA that have chosen to go on the dedicated server route, it doesn't mean that everyone's doing it. But so far, everything I've seen from Sony is that this is our logistics. This is how we're doing it. Yes, it's up to the publisher to put their servers up, but I think they're okay with that. Maybe. <laughs> uh, before I bail out, man, and I just want to bring up one of the not gaming related, yeah, what's which up? is uh, how do you feel about the... Uh, the WGA, the WGA the rider strike. strike? Um, the rider strike. Lost and heroes, man. What? And heroes. Oh, the uh, the lost and heroes. Lost is uh, lost is cut off in the middle. Heroes. Tim, Cr I heard just heard like earlier a couple hours ago. Tim Crane might be off heroes because he refused to end the season early. Hmm. Well, I mean, here's what I think about it. Um, I'm a huge proponent of six of, of web TV. And I think it's really simple. These guys get paid when their shit gets syndicated. When, when they do a fucking episode of Seinfeld, That's when it shows up that. on yeah. TBS, they get residual payments every fucking time that an episode airs on TBS or on, you know, uh, Fox, 